Hey everybody, um, I'm going to try to teach you how to make a marble slides. I figured I'd make this a video so that way if you're working on the weekend you can watch this again if you get stuck or if you forget a step. Um, from what I gather, you should be able to do this. It's not super clear, but it sounds like other teachers have done this. Um, and so I want to see if you can do it because it'll be a lot of fun. I've always wanted to do this with the class. This is a perfect opportunity. Um, so we'll give it a try. So first step is you actually have to go to a thing, a website called teacher.desmos.com. You got to, and this is the part that I'm not 100% sure will work because I don't know if you're like locked into a student account, but I'm, from the sounds of it, with your Desmos account, you can go to this teacher website because what it allows you to do um, is allows you to make your own marble slide, which is what this assignment is. Um, so to do that, you're going to go to the sidebar where it says your activities, and you can go to custom. Uh, and then here you'll see new activities. So click on that. And just say marble slides assignment, something like that. Create that new activity and let's see how that works. So this is what the activity builder looks like. Um, and out of all these different things, the only one you really need to get comfortable with is using this marble slides. Because you're going to slide this over and the first slide has now a marble slide. And all you have to do is set up at what point you want the ball to drop from and where you want to place the stars. And you're just using X, Y points to do that. So you can make the ball drop at, I don't know, 1, 10. And now the balls are going to drop from X of 1, Y of 10. And I'll set up some stars to make like a, I don't know, a concave up parabola. So I could maybe do one, one star at like 1, 1. 1, 2, let's say. And then two stars beside that, so maybe like... I think you put a comma between them, maybe? Let's check. And zero and four. Yep, and use comma space, another point. Let's go two and four. So that's a nice axis of symmetry there. So it's a pretty narrow uh, parabola, but now, um, that's it. You don't, and if you want to type instructions, you can put a note here saying, you know, make, um, change one number and you set up an equation, you know, below that they would change. Or you could just say like, enter note, make a parabola, make one parabola to catch or to hit all these stars. All right, and if you want to test it out, you can do the preview button. So here we go. Here it is. And so I could play around with a parabola now. Like I could make a parabola between, let's just say like a, a, it's going to be opening up so it's positive. Let's go like x minus 1. No, x minus 0 and 2, let's say. So minus 0, whatever is just x, but x. So that's not going to catch them, so I'll have to move this up a couple. Let's move it up. Like 2, no. This might catch them if I launch, but I just think actually when you launch, it'll just hit the bottom and it won't roll anywhere. So I don't even know if this will work. So you want to play around with this to see if you're if the way you set it up will actually work. So I might have to move this over a bit. If I move this to one, that might work, but it might, I, I, uh, it might work. Because it might roll that way and then might roll back. Yeah, so there you go. So you want to make sure that you're, whatever you set up can actually work with the instructions you give. Um, and this one can, so there you go. Um, and so once you've done that first marble slide, you can start the next one. You hit plus to make a new slide. You slide the marble slides back in there and you go. So other options you have, once you have this, you can move your slides around if you want a different order. You can add different types of slides too, which you don't have to focus on this assignment, but if you want to have like, 
you know, a title page slide. You can put a little note here. It says, hello, welcome to my Marvel slide. Assignment part one. Welcome to my Marvel slide. Marble slide slides. And there's other things. You don't need to worry about like multiple choice, anything like that. No, you're good. If you want to add a picture to this, you can. You just slide it beside your note, and now you have a picture here and your note here. Stuff like that. Um, that's all you really need to know for this assignment. So once you're done, you hit, you preview to make sure it looks the way you want, like the picture looks good and the note looks good. You flip, you try your different marble slides to see if they work. If they work and you're ready to go and you're ready to hand this in, you hit publish. It'll publish an assignment. And now here is what you need to do for this. You're going to need the link because I'm going to need the link to be able to, to play this. So you go to the assign. Um, you don't have a class that you're teaching, so you can't assign it to our class, but you're going to get a code, I think. Make it for like two weeks. So once you hit that, it'll make this um, session information. Out of all of this, though, you hit the three dots and you get the student link. That's what we're really interested in. Just copy that student link because that's what you're going to put into your assignment or email to me. Um, but putting in your assignment's the best because I'll have a spot in the assignment for you to paste that code so I can just click that code and see your marble slides. Um, now, are you making your own individual marble slides or marble slides as a group? I think you're going to make it as a group so you have one code for the whole group. Yeah, so that way I'm not getting 17 different codes, but like just the six codes or so, one from each group, and I can go through and I can look at all your marble slides. So with that in mind, make sure that your name, when you're, so if you want to go back, let's say if you like, oh, I crap, I forgot to put my name on the slides. What you're going to do, you're going to come up here, you're going to say edit your activity. Again, it's these three dots up here at the top, you hit edit your activity. And let's say since we're doing this, as a group, you have this one group marble slide um, that you're making. You want to make sure that I know who made which marble slides. So you can put a little note on the title. Like, let's say, let's just say this is Mark K's first oh. Oops. There's going to be questions in the assignments to say, like, Mark K, question one. Each person has to make, I think, I'm going to set three types of marble slide challenges, and you can all help each other. But I do want to see that you're making one yourself each. Um, though the question there then is only one person, I'm thinking this through on the video, which you don't need to see. I'm just realizing that if I'm asking each person to make a marble slide, uh, you can't collaborate together on this one assignment, I don't think. I'll have to look into that to see if you can all be working on the same one, but I don't think you can. I'll have to look into that, and I'll figure it out. Otherwise, this video is done, though. You, sit, you hit Save there, you hit Publish again, and it'll publish a new version with that little name thing on it. Let me just quickly see Collaborate. Huh. So try this out. This actually might solve the problem I was just thinking through, where you hit those three dots at the top again, but instead of hitting edit, you hit collaborate, and that will allow you to add the rest of your group to this one marble slide. Ooh, make sure you do that. Um, you punch in their emails there, and then, then this will show up in their custom feed, and they'll be able to add to it, just like a Google Doc. Super cool. All right, I think that's it. Um, Email me if you have questions. Good luck and believe in yourself. I know you can do this. It'll be fun. Hopefully. Maybe. Eh, we'll see. Bye. Oh, nope. That was not the ending button. Try it again. I've just closed the buttons I needed to end this video. Uh, I think it's up here. If I hit this again. And I hit the stop button. Okay, this should do it.